With all the time we're spending at home now, our TVs are becoming even more important. Portals for entertainment, gaming, news, and even Zoom calls. Having a good TV packed with features and options is key. That's why plenty of folks right now are looking to upgrade their TVs. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I recently had the opportunity to test out an 85-inch Sony Triluminos 4K Smart TV, its model X900H, here in my home for a month alongside a Sony sound system. I'm going to tell you what having this system in my home theater has been like from first-hand experience. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give us a sub because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. And I just want to make one quick note here about my setup. This TV is a loner that I've only got for a few weeks and it is not going to be permanently left in my house, unfortunately. Uh, my preference would probably be to wall mount something like this at the correct height. Um, obviously I'm not going to do that because it does have to go back. I also didn't have any furniture that would actually support the size or the weight of this TV and the associated sound system. So it is sitting on the floor. I know that's not optimal, but unfortunately here in my test kitchen, those are the only options I have. So we will talk a little bit about space and size configurations for this TV because it is big and heavy and huge. So you do want to make sure you've got the proper either furniture or space to really be able to admire its picture. This TV is a 4K TV, meaning it has super sharp resolution with four times the resolution of older HD TVs. It runs the Android TV operating system, which will give you smart streaming access to apps, movies, and shows. And the Google Assistant is built in here too, so you can ask Search Google to control YouTube your TV, Sony get recommendations and answers on screen, and more all by using your voice. The Sony X900H also works with Alexa and Apple AirPlay 2 and Apple HomeKit, so you can control the TV with your voice. And it probably goes without saying that this TV works with smart speakers, including Google Home and Amazon Alexa-enabled devices. There's a lot of other technology packed in here, which I will touch on and explain before I get to the details of what I think of the overall video quality. If you're wondering why I'm only showing Sony 4K demo videos, it's because if I show more popular movies or TV shows, I run the risk of copyright strikes, so I am sticking with what I can use without getting shut down. Let's start with the Full Array technology, also called Full Array Local Dimming. It has what you can call a full array of LED lighting, hundreds, thousands of lights spread out more widely behind the screen of the TV. These lights can be more precisely controlled, so you should see more precision in the video better black levels, better detail in dark or shadowy scenes, as well as more realistic brightness without washout or bleed. Full Array Local Dimming Backlight technology allows for sharper 4K detail, more realistic color, deeper black levels, and more realistic and wider contrast range, and for a wider viewing angle. With Sony's top-of-the-line color technology, Triluminos, you'll see a colorful video picture with rich, real-world detail and a wider range of brightness. Sony's sales pitch here is that the Triluminos display reproduces more colors than a conventional television by analyzing and processing the data in every image to make colors more natural, more precise, and so your video looks closer to real life. There's also support for next-gen gaming. This TV has HDMI 2.1 for newer gaming consoles, as well as support for auto low latency mode. With a variable refresh rate, which is 120 frames per second, that means you should see a reduced input lag, higher frame rates, and translated, that means smoother, clearer motion. Sony does note that this will require a firmware update, which should be released in about winter 2020. Now, you guys know I am no gamer, so I did not test this stuff out. Lastly, the Sony X900H is Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos compatible, and it is also... Uh, it also supports Netflix calibrated mode. TVs today are getting thinner, lighter, and the bezels or frames around the screen are practically non-existent. I absolutely love the size of this TV. It's so big, the only thing you can see when you're sitting in front of it is the TV. This is basically all screen, so it absolutely fills your field of view with the picture and nothing gets in the way. 
Despite its size and how close I have my sofa to it here, you can't see the pixels and the picture stays sharp and detailed no matter what I'm watching. And even if the dogs want to come in and join me, they like it too. So that is the power of a premium 4K TV. Overall, the TV is really nice to watch. The video quality is beautiful, the color is gorgeous, and the resolution is razor sharp. Even watching action movies, I didn't really feel like motion blur was an issue. The massive size also is really a treat, and I enjoyed having such a big screen to fill the space in front of my face. A TV is always going to have the best quality when viewed directly opposite the screen, and the farther you move to the side, the more the colors can sometimes fade. But when it comes to side viewing here, the Sony X900H had very little color fade or washout when I was viewing it. Overall, I am going to be pretty crushed to send this TV back. It has been really easy to adapt to such a large screen. I've been really thrilled with the overall video quality and the Android TV interface works pretty well. I also wanted to note that I had Geek Squad come and deliver and install the TV and the sound system and get everything set up for me. And I highly recommend taking advantage of this service. They arrived on schedule, worked quickly, and handled all the details for me, plus they calibrated everything and tested it out so I knew everything was running perfectly from the first minute me and the puppy sat down to enjoy it. Downsides? In the short time I had it, I didn't notice any issues with the picture quality. I paired this with the Sony HT-Z9F soundbar and the SA-Z9R rear speakers, which I have reviewed before, and you can find those reviews here on the channel. So I had a great quality sound system to go alongside it. That was definitely better than leaning on built-in speakers, I will definitely say that. I am struggling to find something to dislike here, so I'm going to leave it at that. If I do have one caveat, it's that this TV is too big for a lot of furniture, so plan your placement very carefully. The price is about $3,499 Canadian dollars, and while that may seem pretty spendy, when I think back to the 50-inch HD TV I bought about 10 years ago that cost me about $2,500, this seems like a bargain by comparison. If you want to read more, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where I've posted a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have about this TV either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me and the puppies on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada. Rainy came and sat in the video, buddy. Downstairs and it's got up in front of me. So the massive size is really a treat, huh? Yeah, buddy. Who doesn't love a massive size?